us, one must be careful in ensuring that the procedure followed to find answers to questions are relevant, appropriate, and justified. Again, the degree of rigor varies markedly between the physical and the social science and within the social sciences. It means we are ensure that whatever the procedure we are following for collecting the answers to that question, it should be relevant or appropriate. Now, empirical. The processes adopted should be tested for the accuracy and each step should be coherent in a progression. Means each and every step is in a consequences manner so that the coherent or the progression can be progression can be possible. This means that any conclusions drawn are based upon the data gathered from information collected from real life experiences or the observation. Means we are focusing on sometimes we have collected the, uh, the secondary data from uh, our research or for right, uh, doing the research. So the secondary data is you can uh, well, you can identify it as a uh, the researcher who have taken that particular data. It can be modified as per their uh, convenience. So it may or may not be the biased one. So the accuracy of a result out or the outcome is maybe very. But we are focusing if we are doing the research or the researcher is collecting the data from a primary basis. Means if I wanted to do certain research, so I am focusing on collecting the primary data. So that will be the more giving the more accurate outcome or a result for my, my research. Now systematic. The procedure or the process being developed to undertake a study should be carefully drafted to ensure that resources utilization is optimized. Chaotic or the disorganized procedure would never yield expected outcome. Means if I wanted to find it out certain uh, questionnaire, we can say if I wanted to collect the data through the questionnaire and I am circulating that data which is not relevant to my topic to that particular people. So the data collected from that population is not giving me as such result which I actually want for my study. Fine. So uh, we have to do the systematic way or in a proper utilization of a resources. So resources cannot be wasted. My time is not wasted. My money is not wasted. And the result I am getting is accurate. Fine. Now the reliability. This is a degree to which the result of a measurement calculation or the specification can be dependent on to be accurate. Means uh, it is same as that. Means if I am considering the primary date. So the variation or the uh, the chances of a, a less accuracy is with less in a primary database rather we are collecting the secondary data or i am totally dependent on the secondary data but there may be the chances of the biasness or the result variation now the validity and verifiability it is extent to which a concept conclusion or measurement is well founded and likely corresponds accurately to the real value now employees hypothesis how we can employ the hypothesis. Any research definitely begins with the formulation of a hypothesis. Means if I wanted to find it out the weather forecasting, uh, means to today uh, the uh, rain is going to be occur or not. So the by uh, taking the hypothesis, I am just formulate one hypothesis. There is a, uh, as such relation between the the each generated uh, today's or the climate or the temperature is rising uh, today. So the possibility of a rain may occur. Okay, and there is a no such relation. So null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis we can identify. It is a supposition or the proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidences as a starting point for the further investigation. So what I have taken in my hypothesis, the temperature, uh, today the temperature is going to increase or uh, previously or the day before yesterday or yesterday, the continuously or the consequent three to four days or a week ahead i am finding out the temperature is continuously rising so there may be the possibility of the uh, atmosphere that rain may occur so th this is my hypothesis and hypothesis can be defined as an educated guess about the relationship between two or more variable so here my variable is the uh, atmosphere or the ambience generated due or the uh, the vapor may be vaporization may be done uh, so that the rain may occur between the 
the uh, temperature rises in the city. In simple words, a hypothesis is an idea around which one starts working before it is actually converted to the research. Now, analytical and accurate. A research should be focused not only about what is happening, but also on how and why a particular phenomenon process draws certain conclusion. We cannot always say that what is going on or what may be happening, but how and why it particular phenomena or the uh, process is occurs. Any data collected, if does not yield results or is unsuitable to be used for further studies or application, disrupts the purpose of research. Means I have done certain research. For example, I am finding out the way or my research topic is, is EV is uh, successful in a today's scenario. So if I am doing the research on that particular topic, but that research is not giving the further applications or the further modification in a future. So that may uh, do not have a, any kind of a use or the purpose of that particular research. There is a possibility of your research so the, that the particular modification can be done. Therefore, the data collected should be reasonable and free of errors to be easily analyzed. Accuracy is also the degree to which each research process is instrument and tool is related to each other. Accuracy also measures whether research tools have been selected in a best possible manner and research procedure suits the research problem or not. Here is the, uh, the game of tool. Which kind of a tool is suited to your hypothesis, your data and your study so that you can consider it. Otherwise, it will not give a accurate results. Now the credibility, the extent to which an analysis of finding can be treated to be trustworthy is termed as a credibility. This can only be assured by the use of the best source of information and best procedure in research. For this, I am giving one example. Uh, when we are using <coughs> uh, the feedback link for considering the reviews of a customer in a restaurant, so uh, the uh, written form of a feedback form or a written form of a suggestion is considered the more accurate information rather than the verbal. Because if I am a customer and I am using your hotel or the restaurant or service, so uh, I am always saying you the good food, the good service you are uh, uh, giving us and the ambience is too good. We are not uh, directly say as a human nature, directly say that no, it is too bad. But if I just wanted to give certain suggestion or the negative feedback of your hotel or service or the restaurant service. So I can write it down and you can consider that one is a more credible. Now critical. So critical scrutiny of the procedure used and the methods employed is crucial to our research inquiry. The process of investigation must be foolproof and free from drawbacks and the process adopted and the procedure used must be able to withstand critical scrutiny. Critical scrutiny of a procedure is the path, uh, methods employed is a uh, crucial for the research inquiry. You have to properly identify uh, the particular tool or method, which kind of uh, this used to be for or suitable for your study. Fine. So these are the certain uh, characteristics uh, of research and research methodology. Hopefully, I'm able to make you understand this particular topic. So thank you for listening to me patiently. And uh, I will uh, be again, once again, face you with a new lecture with new topic. So thanks once again. Have a nice day.